Well, he made it to his court date while he was getting his hair cut. That photo of a Sacramento County court defendant showing up to his Zoom court hearing while in his barber's chair. CBS 13 Steve Large is at the county courthouse with the unusual appearance and this one's not alone, right Steve? Right, you know, and during the pandemic courtrooms, just like everything else, can be accessed through these Zoom calls. As far as comedy in a courtroom goes, you could say this court appearance this morning was a cut above. Forget barbershop quartet, this was barbershop court. This snapshot shows a defendant making his Sacramento Superior Court appearance on time, only he was multitasking, getting his hair cut too. It was actually kind of a comedy relief moment. It was very entertaining to see. Sacramento-based attorney Michael Weiss does not represent Daryl Jones, but he was on the Zoom court call and couldn't help but capture the moment. With criminal courts, you really do get a slice of humanity. And with Zoom appearances, people are obviously becoming a lot more casual. The judge in the case ordered the sentencing hearing moved to a different date. I think the judge wasn't sure how to deal with it at first, but eventually he said, you know what, you're going to have to come back on a different day when you're, we have your full attention. This is only the latest example of unusual Zoom courtroom appearances. This video shows an attorney caught with his shirt off during a Sacramento Superior Court date. In Yolo County Superior Court, an attorney was caught participating on Zoom from his sailboat. And it, it was a total of one day. And then there was the Zoom video showing a defendant in Yellow County appearing to shoot up during his court date. We've seen, like I said, people using drugs, falling asleep, driving cars. Um, we really do get a window into their lives um, at, at uh, whatever moment they're living. This pandemic taking the court system outside the courthouse and zooming in to people's daily lives. It caught this defendant double booking. Who are we to judge? What a picture. Now I did reach out to the Sacramento County Superior Court and asked what the standard operating procedures are for defendants who are not in custody making these Zoom calls. And they said they actually don't have any stringent guidelines for these defendants. In fact, they encourage anybody who can Zoom to do it. So. This guy made his court appearance on time today.